March the 18th, 2020. As you're looking at the USGS earthquake map, and we're zoomed in on Salt Lake City, about an hour ago there were nine quakes here. Now we have 15, and they're coming in every few moments. You can see another one pop up. And uh, Roy Potter came on this morning, not very long ago, and said that it was really shaking at his house. And there's, you can see in the comments on his new video that people are feeling it, building sway and all. But this is a 5.7 right here. Now, this is um, looks like it's east of the Kincock Copper Corporation Pond. And this area maybe is a large mining area. you got the Great Salt Lake and stuff here. But this 5.7, guys, is strong. It woke some folks up, and they're still coming. And sometimes a quake like this can be a precursor. So I want you guys to keep a heads up on where you're at your location, your building, what's over your head, things like that. I want to show you uh, by look, changing this map just slightly into the grade scale. These are fault lines. Now, I think Roy said you got the, let's see, um, you've got a certain ridge going through there, uh, Wabash or something like that. But if you back this out, you can see through the lake itself, their fault zones. And on the other side of Salt Lake City, and this is all low and flat area, here's your airport right here in this area. We'll go back to the um, street images. Excuse me, satellite, let's go here. And you can see this is the big, uh, the Kincott um, Copper Pond is what they're calling it. Now, again, your airport is just to the northeast of this uh, kind of uh, epicenter of aftershocks. 6.2 is the strongest and or 5.7 excuse me i'm sorry and then most of these are series of threes 3.8 3.9 and down the line here again we're at 15 uh, you had the major quake and you'd say 14 aftershocks but guys i don't know what's going on we're going to check around just keep your heads down on this area i've got an important video coming up um about some of these lockdowns it won't be long heads up be safe